Good morning and thank you for taking the time to evaluate my video today. My name is Nazira Adina Binti Abdurrahman and my topic is the relationship between organizational commitment and job performance among employees of Majlis Bandaraya Kuching Selatan or MBKS. My elected supervisor is Puan Arumini Binti Arabi and my co-supervisor is Dr. Jati Kasuma. Organizational commitment is vital to any organization as it is a good predictor of organizational objective, absenteeism, turnover, and productivity. Job performance refers to work-related activities that are expected of an employee and how well those activities are executed. Based on previous studies, multiple findings are contradicting to each other. Therefore, the objective for this research is to determine the relationship between organizational commitment and job performances among employees of MBKS. To this, I have come up with three research questions, which is what is the relationship between effective commitment with employees' job performances? Does the relationship between normative commitment affect employees' job performances? And lastly, is there any relationship between continuous commitment and employees' performances? The next slide shows conceptual framework used in this research. Moving on to the methodology, the sampling frame is obtained from the employees of MBKS. About 85 questionnaires is distributed and the researcher needed at least 17 respondents at minimum. In this slide, I have incorporated data collection procedures where I illustrate the duration of timeline from designing the questionnaires to writing the report. On the next slide, we can see the rate of respondents. As I said, a total of 85 questionnaires have been delivered to MBKS employees and all respondents have been given an average amount of one week to complete the questionnaires to be returned to the researchers. There are a total of 70 questionnaires that have been returned, which meant that there are few questionnaires that are either have not been returned successfully to the researcher due to misplaced by the respondent, or therefore the response rate for the survey returns amounts up to 82.4%. Moving on, we have the demographic profile of the respondents. As you can see from the pie chart on the slide, majority of MBKS employees are at the range of 31 to 40 years old, and most of the respondents are female. Most of the employees have service periods above 20 years, and most of them are married. Majority of the respondents are at degree level, and most of them are from the support staff working group. On the next slide, we have normality test. If the skewness is within the range of negative 2 to positive 2, it is considered as a normal distribution. On the other hand, if the kurtesis is within the negative 3 to positive 3 range, it is also known as normal distribution. As you can see the table shown on the slide, all variables are at the normal distribution for both skewness and courtesies. This section, the descriptive statistics, shows the mean and standard deviation for all variables. Based on the table on the slide, it indicates that effective commitment has the most influence on job performances, where the mean is 3.5829 and its standard deviation is 0 0.70010. Next, we move on to reliability test. Based on the table that demonstrate thumb rule by Hare et al. 2011, it is safe to say that effective commitment and continuous commitment are at moderate strength as both back are below 0 0.7. On the other hand, normative commitment and job performances are at good strength as both are above 0 0.7. On the next section, we have correlation. Correlation is significant at 0.01 level, two tailed. Based on the table on the slide, we can safely assume that all variables are significant and is positive. This is because there is no negative figure on all the readings on the table. Thus, all variables are positive. Moving on to the last section of chapter 4, which is discussion. The Pearson correlation stated that effective commitment and job performances correlate at 0 0.290. Therefore, the analysis shows that the relationship between two variables exists. A study done by Amir A. Bassett 
2018 in Lahore, Pakistan, stated that an employee's emotional attachment increases the trust of an employee towards an organization and their senses of responsibility, which can leave a positive or negative effect on the employee's job performances. Moving on to the next question, where it involves continuous commitment and job performances. To answer that question, there is a relationship between the continuous commitment and job performances. The correlation data shows that the two variables correlate at 0 0.073. Although we, the relationship can still be seen in the box plot where the median line is still inside the box. When employees don't have any alternative, they will tend to focus more on their productivity in order to maintain in the organization. Last but not least, question three. The significance between normative commitment and employee's job performances correlates at 0 0.308. Among the three variables, normative commitment can be seen to have the most strongest significance affecting job commitment among MBKS employees. In conclusion, we can conclude that there is a relationship between organization commitment and job performance at MBKS. Among the three types of commitment, it has been concluded that normative commitment has the strongest effect on the employees of MBKS job performances. I recommend that top management of MBKS give reward to those employees who have achieved great results during their service period. Besides that, sharing common knowledge can increase the attachment of an employee to an organization. For the last section, recommendation for the future study, I recommend that future researchers should distribute their questionnaire ahead of time and promptly to avoid limited time problem. Also, I recommend that future researchers should expand their sample size in order to obtain a more accurate result. That is all from me. Thank you.